There you are. Hello. Oh. oh. <laughs> Let's oh. just. There you go. We can see you better now, anyway. Yes. But when I say ho, 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 it's not as fun without a hat. No. No, it can be a little. Um, it can lose its meaning without the hat. Yes. <laughs> or yes. be interpreted in another way. It's possible. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're going to be making Christmas. We're starting to make Christmas. Woohoo! Woohoo! Um, we are very excited to bring to you our second Felting University series of, uh, a figure. We're going to, um, make Santa Claus. And, um, this will be an advanced tutorial. We're expecting that you have made something before, you have some supplies, you're familiar with armatures, um, I'm not going to get super specific in technique because it's something that I'm hoping that you've done already. So if you have a few projects under your belt, um, this, this would be good for you. And I'm going to go over what you'll need for it because we're not creating a um, supply pack. And um, yeah, and he's, this is, we're basing everything on about a 12 inch figure. So we can start, let me start going through from the armature up, what you'll need. Do you have anything to add at the moment? Um, I, I have a joke. Okay. Why does Santa have three gardens? I, I didn't know Santa had three he gardens. He does. I don't know why. So he can ho, ho, ho. Ho. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're starting off strong. <laughs> Good one. Um, okay, we're going to start with the armature. I've made them with either 14 or 12 gauge. It's kind of right on the cusp of when I would switch. This piece, sorry, my little one's popping right in front of you. This one I started is on a um, is on a 12 gauge. It's a little little more stiff, um, but still totally bendable. Works fine, and so now I can't get him to stand up. And this one that's already finished is on a 14 gauge. It's just a little bit, little bit softer. He still has plenty of support. Hey, look at that. He actually stood up. Nice. Um, I'm going to get to that standing up. He actually doesn't have any leather on the bottom of his shoes, but that does help the standing up process. Or just have a prop that they, you know, can lean against. That helps too. So you also need the pipe cleaners to wrap your armature. It's nice to have some flesh tones um, for the fingers on the hands. And, um, and then from there, we start wrapping. And I always make a red coat, not always, but I like to make a red coat and I do like dark gray pants. Um, and then I do these um, sort of rabbit fur muckluck boots. You could do traditional red pants with black boots so that's just there's just tons of options but you'll definitely use the most of the Christmas red core so I would have um, at least two ounces of that on hand this one I started building the head with off-white core roving which is totally fine Ecru is great too the fair bear um, bat is my favorite skin tone Santa and this gets used on the fingers and right over the what you built up on the um, head for the face and then we've got the the gray core for the pants um, and then some oatmeal for the boots and then you're also going to need some nice curls these are Wensleydale which um, this batch is nice and white and these are about five inches long. We usually have some nice white curl in stock. So look for either Wensleydale or a um, Lester Long Wool, which we, it's AKA Santa Beard. We actually call it that because um, it's so, it looks exactly like that. So curls, and I also use curls on the trim of the, um, of the coat. That, that's fancy. That's fancy, yes. And it's fun. You could put sparkle, you could put angora. Um, the trim of the coat is a, a place for lots of options as well. And 
during the holiday, we may try to get this more often, but um, we have this limited edition um, Santa Red bat. And this is made by one of my favorite, um, oh, I don't even know what to call her. She raises her own sheep, she dyes, she cards, she creates these beautiful bats. And um, we were able to get some. This would be used, it's really similar in color to the Christmas red, which is great. It would be used as a top coat on the hat and coat. And it also wet felts really well, which the Christmas red core roving needle felts perfectly. It's not so great for wet felting, it's too fuzzy. So if you want to try wet felting a coat, um, which I will explain later, um, this is a nice, nice thing to have. Um, let me see. I think that's about it for supplies. Um, we're going to go through step by step, start to finish. We're actually going to use the figure armature tutorial that we already have because it's exactly what we're doing. A 12 inch um, armature for a figure. So it's, it's all there and the reference chart for figures and faces is super helpful for this project. Um, on the reference chart, this isn't a 12 inch figure because this is only 11 and a half inch piece of paper, but I do have at least marked out where each part of the armature should be. If you have a ruler, um, you just lay your armature down and you can see, okay, the wrist and hip bone is at six inches and it's all marked out. So that's, that's really helpful. Okay, so we're about ready to get started. Um, we are going to offer this as a DVD in our Etsy shop or as a digital download on our website. Sorry, it's in two different places. That's, that's just the way it works, right? So we're going to um, switch to over the shoulder and just start our project. Ready, Milo? Yep. All right.